you like to impress your friends with weird things? Watch our new decor and craft ideas selection. You've never had such a unique accessory. Guaranteed, it's totally awesome. It won't take you long to make this cute little charm. Squeeze a little hot glue onto the foil smudged with fatty cream. Smooth it with a wet finger. You can press it a little. It'll be the egg white. Add a hot glue drop in the center to make the 3D yolk. Paint the fried egg with a thin brush. Take it off the foil. Continue painting. Apply clear nail polish on top. We need a tiny ring for the mini charm. Cut the excess off of an eye pin. Put on a chain with a ring. Hot glue to the charm. It looks very pretty. Besides, you can wear it as a pin badge on your backpack or jacket. Today, we'll show a couple of cute glittering glass pendant ideas. Put a jump ring on a pendant tray. Pass edge chain links through the ring. Close the ring using tools. Let's embellish the pendant. Add a drop of hot glue to the tray and attach a rough glass bead. Use bigger details for the first layer. Continue dropping hot glue to the tray to attach the glass crystals. Add the hot glue by small portions and work fast as hot glue dries on metal in a flash. Fill the tray all over with the rough glass beads. Hot glue smaller details on top to create a neat and complete look. Cover the glass with glitter nail polish of the color you like. Apply two to three coats to get a smooth color. The awesome sparkling glass pendant can become a fabulous gift for a close friend. Let's make another pendant. Open a jump ring to put on a filigree tray. Take a chain in the middle and pass the ring through a link. Close the ring. As the chain is shorter than in the first accessory, let's make a clasp. Open a ring to put on a lobster clasp. And the edge link. Close the ring. Put a ring on the other end of the chain. Cover the cabochon setting with a transparent nail polish. Pour glitter onto the tray before the polish is dry. Spread the glitter all over the surface by tapping against the pendant frame. Cover the underside of the glass cabochon with the glitter nail polish. Thus, we'll create a magic glow effect. Put on several layers to get a smooth coat of intense color. When the polish is dry, add transparent multi-purpose glue to the cabochon and attach it to the tray. Shift the glass to the center. The splendid glittering glass pendant will match your evening outfit. We need minimal materials for the smart glass pendant ideas, but these original jewelries will add bright, shining vintage accents whenever you wear them. We'll need a clear glass vial with a stopper and two-in-one makeup remover. This remover contains oil and water base. The oil layer is blue. It's lighter than water, that's why it's always on top. Shake the bottle to mix the layers the liquid is mixed and turns pale blue and put both into the vial. Fill the vial and let it stay for a while. A few minutes later, the liquid layers become visible. Take white semi-transparent seed beads and put them in. Add bigger clear beads to get an intricate reflection of the light. They lay on the bottom and glow magically like precious stones. Take colored seed beads, hot pink will do. Add clear lavender beads. Create a wow effect by adding a little glitter. Cool! 
The light glitter particles don't sink to the bottom, but hold in the middle, at the bottom of the oil layer. We'll finish embellishing with foam plastic balls. The ball is pretty big. Push it down to put it inside. If it doesn't go, use a wooden stick or some other tool. Foam plastic is lighter than any liquid, so the balls don't sink but float on the surface. Cork the vial. You can glue it to make sure it won't open. Take a pink cord folded in half. Tie it around the neck. The first unusual bottle necklace is ready. Let's see how it works. Turn it over. Wow! Cool! The white balls are always on top while the seed beads stay on the bottom and the glitter holds in the middle. The liquid consists of two layers at the same time. The next accessory will be our dream about summer. We'll need some raw cotton. Tear it into several pieces. Take a few markers of bright colors. Open the ultra yellow one and color the cotton. The tint will glow under a black light. Tear off and join again the colored cotton to spread the paint fast. Color the other pieces in the same way. We've prepared a few cotton balls of different hues. Take a ball-shaped glass jar with a filigree cap. Tear a small piece off each bright ball and put it in the jar. We filled the jar with the colored cotton. Pour in the white glitter. Use the wooden stick to spread it between the cotton layers. Apply multi-purpose glue to the cap. Attach it to the jar. Put on the cord. This pretty eye-catching bottle necklace will take minimum time. It's lovely and easy to make. In this project, we'll show some DIY ideas of a fingerprint necklace in polymer clay. To make a fingerprint pendant, we'll need polymer clay of white, two shades of blue, ochre, pink, and green color, jump rings, and braided leather cord with a clasp. Roll up a white polymer clay ball to make a pendant base. Roll out flat. You can use any appropriate object, even a glass. We're using a special rolling pin. Take a small piece of blue clay to roll up a ball. Roll out in a small circle. Put the blue circle in the center of the white base. The most exciting moment, put your thumbprint. To make the fingerprint clear, thoroughly press down the central part of the blue circle. Prick the white base to put a jump ring on. Use a toothpick. Twist a little to make the hole wider. Let's embellish the pendant. We'll need polymer clay of different colors. Take small pieces of blue and pink. Mix just a bit to get a fusion of two individual colors. Roll up a ball. Make several two-colored balls in clay of different shades. You can choose any combination as we have taken the colors that match well. Okay, we've got a number of bright details. Attach the elements to the white base. Start a bit beyond the ring hole. Press over each ball to shape a tight string around the blue circle. The ball string shapes an open ring with a hole on top. Now you can bake the pendant. Look up the instructions to learn the temperature and time to bake your polymer clay. The clay we're using should be baked at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Take jump rings and braided cord. Open a ring and pass it through the hole. Put it on the cord and close the ring. The cute fingerprint pendant keeps a secret and thus can become a very special gift for a close friend. Let's make a fingerprint necklace. We'll need polymer clay of blue, pink, and ochre color. Two thin silk cords of lavender lilac and blue shades. Begin with making templates. Draw three five-pointed stars on thick paper. They can be of different size and not quite regular shape. Cut them out. This is it. Now, take three polymer clay pieces of each color and roll up balls. 
Roll out flat. Use a small rolling pin. The circles should not be too thin. The size varies as the stars will not be equal. Put the templates onto the clay circles. Press over and smooth with your fingers. As we'll use a craft knife, be careful to lay a wooden board. Cut out carefully. Don't let the templates shift. Remove the paper. Pierce the stars to hang on rings. Use a toothpick. And the central element of the craft is a fingerprint. Put a thumbprint on the biggest pink star. Press down well to make it clear. Print your little finger on the smallest yellow star. Put a fingerprint with your middle finger on the blue charm. All the stars are ready. You can bake them now. Be careful to check the polymer clay instructions for baking time and temperature. We'll bake the charms at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Join the cords and tie a knot on the end. Put something heavy on the knotted end to keep in place. Twist the cord to the left. Hold tight to prevent unwinding. Turn around the second cord in the same direction. The cords are twisted tight. Remove the press and pull up the ends. Loosen the cords to twist a rope. Tie a knot on the other end. Cut off the excess. The details are ready. Let's assemble the necklace. Open a jump ring. Thread a star and close the ring. Put on rings on the other charms. Thread the cord rope. The fingerprint necklace is a unique piece of jewelry. You can either use your own fingers to make a special gift for your close friend, or put your baby's fingerprints to keep until the kid grows up. These accessories are stunning and special as they keep a speck of your individuality. Let's make a drop pearl necklace. like to impress your friends with weird things? Watch our new decor and craft ideas selection. You've never had such a unique accessory. Guaranteed! It's totally awesome! It won't take you long to make this cute little charm. Squeeze a little hot glue onto the foil smudged with fatty cream. Smooth it with a wet finger. You can press it a little. It'll be the egg white. Add a hot glue drop in the center to make the 3D yolk. Paint the fried egg with a thin brush. Take it off the foil. Continue painting. Apply clear match both daytime and evening outfit. Do you need a stunning accessory for a themed party? Add a cute bottle pendant necklace to your collection. Pour a little water in a clear vial. Squeeze in hot pink acrylic paint. Stopper with a cork. Shake well. The bottle's painted all over the inside. Apply hot glue streaks. Take cord, tie a knot. Put it on the vial. Fasten it on the neck with hot glue. You can leave it as it is or add some more color. Paint the streaks with some contrast color like green nail polish. Embellish with a bead. We've made a smart summer accessory. It looks like a wonderful lucky charm. Subscribe, click like. Don't forget to hit the bell to know exactly when a new video comes out.